Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Real Estate Investing Mastery Podcast. Really glad you're here. I'm with my good buddy, Claude Diamond. Hi, guys. Um, Claude and I are doing an event in Hawaii, um, December 11th through the 13th. I've never been to Hawaii before. I'm super you're kidding. excited. To know. I'm going to put you on a surfboard, dude. I'm so excited about this. Um, I love the beach. You know, we just got back, Claude, from a 10-week trip around the northwestern part of the United States, went to a bunch of big national parks. And my favorite, one of my favorites in the top 5% of all the places we went to was the coast right along Oregon. Um, I just love the beach. I love going out there. And uh, But we're going to be in Hawaii, and we're going to be doing a really awesome, incredible three-day workshop with just me and Claude and some friends of ours um, about sales, about real estate, uh, how to do this business virtually from anywhere in the world, from your from your house in Winter Park, Colorado, or in San Diego with just an iPhone and an iPad. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much that's it, it. Tell them the dates, Joe. December 11th through the 13th. December 11th through the 13th. Um, there's the, if you want more information, there's in the show notes here will be a link to the uh, to the website, but you can also, if you want to write this down, go to gutsrules.com slash, how do you pronounce this, Claude? Kawi? Kawi? Uh, Kawi. Kawi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gutsrules.com slash Kawi 2014. All right. So it's dot com gutsrules.com slash K A U A I two zero one four. Now you may need to put a, a dash, I mean a slash backslash at the end. No, you don't. All right. So anyway, that website and that link will be in the show notes, and and also we'll have it um, in the email we're sending out about this. Um, but I we wanted to talk with you, Claude. We've interviewed you before on the podcast, and uh, we talked about sales before. But this is so so important. Um, the other day, let me just give some context of what I want to ask you about this for, Claude. Um, the other day, I had some students um, do a bunch of marketing. They were at a workshop in Phoenix, Arizona, and okay. they, they sent out several thousands of postcards and got a bunch of leads in that went to voicemail. And during this workshop, a lot of the students, I mean, God bless them. I mean, they, they, uh, I love the fact that they were taking massive action. They weren't... Um, Going into a workshop like that, where they were, they were forced to sit down, pick up the phone, and call sellers, right? And so, which is awesome. And I'm taking notes. You're taking notes. So here was a uh, they had about 140 leads in St. Louis. So uh, my friend who was hosting the webinar, the seminar there, sent out a bunch of postcards. They had about 100, 140 leads and these students sat down and just got on the phone and started calling them back that's they, the best part i just heard how long between the, the phone call the voicemail to the phone call is to me the essential question uh, yeah unfortunately it was probably a, a couple days oh, that, that, oh you see where this breaks my heart when i because <laughs> the money that is spent for marketing you and i both love marketing we market every day and things. How important is it to give good phone? Really, really. Did you ever? Did you ever get in the mood, Joe, where you had this heightened awareness? You you were ready to buy something, a new computer. I want it now. When someone wants to do a deal, whether they're a buyer, seller, investor, whatever, when do they want? Do they want to wait two, three days? No. Yeah. When you when you took your wife, your beautiful wife out on that first date and you took her to the doorstep, did you say, gee, it's a nice, I'll come back in three, four days and give you that kiss, okay? No, you did it, hopefully then. You got five kids, so you must have done something. But Four, <laughs> we have four kids. But we, well, <laughs> my, my first date with my wife was to the truck and tractor pull at the Iowa State Fair. Where, where else would you go in Missouri? Yeah. <laughs> so... Anyway, it was that was our first date. But your point is well taken because uh, money loves speed. Money loves speed. And so if you're not on the phone calling these sellers right away, then that every every second that lead gets cold, you're going to lose money. But the the to um to give them credit, um they couldn't the workshop was on a Friday and a Saturday. 
And so they did the marketing in advance. They did the marketing in advance so the students could have some practice calling these leads. So we understand the importance of calling leads right away, okay? Now, there is no tomorrow in business. Right, and we're, and it's, we're only, it's only today. It's only now. You get one shot. If you're lucky, we're in don't blow to, it. We're in business to make money today. Today. Claude's rule number one. Why are we in business? To make money today. What do we sell? We sell solutions to other people's problems, needs, greeds, and issues. And that problem sometimes only has a short shelf life. It's not a Twinkie, okay? It's a it's a raw egg. It's it, you can only you you got to hop on it fast because that window closes very quickly sometimes. Okay, so they they ask some basic preliminary questions. You know, what's the address of the house? Why are you selling? Um, and they ask some basic preliminary questions for the of the seller, and then sent the lead to me. And all of a sudden, I'm completely overwhelmed with about fifty leads and um they just kind of asked the basic questions and then i have to go and kind of dig some more and try to i i sent them responses go ask them this or is the house is it rented or is it vacant what does it rent for etc etc good question but what i wanted to ask you claude um was what are some tips and advice that you can give to to that to that person who's maybe a beginner um and they they're nervous about doing any marketing getting the phone to ring all of a sudden the phone does ring and it's a seller on the line what are some things that they need to say to the seller what are some good questions to ask what's the most important thing to figure out or to find out when you're on the phone the first phone call with the seller you're the first thing you're the master at this and uh, i'm I'm really (laughs) looking forward to hearing what you you have to say you're good for my ego first thing is don't do what your competition is doing be different on the phone. Everybody sounds the same on the phone. You get a phone call from someone soliciting you for business. Don't you know in about five nanoseconds that they're trying to sell you something? They're an un- uninvited guest, a solicitor. Hi, Mr. McCall, and I, I, I'm calling you today about aluminum siding on your house. What's going through your mind in that first five seconds? I'm not interested. How'd you get my phone boom, number? Boom, click rejection. We hate making phone calls where people don't like us or reject us. So the first thing is to take an approach where we're getting back to the person where, hi, Mr. McCall, I've got your name and number here. Uh, uh, I'm sorry it took me a while to get back to you. How can I help you, sir? What is this about real estate? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. It's been a crazy month. Did you call me last week about the house or do you have, you don't have a house for sale, do you, Mr. McCall? I do. That's what it, and it's probably sold already, right? No, it's, I still have it. Oh, oh wow. My, my name's Claude Diamond. I buy houses. I'm looking for a house in that area. Can we talk for a few minutes today and see if we can do business today? Yeah, sure. Okay, off the role play. Right away, I grasp your attention. I did. You've got to think about, you've got to be, great salespeople are empathetic. They think ahead of time what's going through the mind of the person they're calling. If you're going to sound like a goofy clown calling them up, like the other phone calls they've received, you're going to get that high level of rejection. Who wants that, right, Joe? Right, exactly. we got to approach them differently so we get their attention, so we create an emotional interest. Okay, If you folks are taking notes, that's the key. Mm -hmm. And we want to get the prospect doing more talking than us. We want to ask the key questions, which you, you hit on before. Is it vacant? Is it occupied? Is it a rental? Is it your own home? Is there a mortgage? Uh, why are you, Mr. McCall, why are you selling it? There's a lovely home with you and your four kids and the, and the little dog. Why on earth would you send that, sell that home you've been in for so many years? Well, you know, we just, we want to, um, it's time to get rid of it. I, 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 you just woke up one morning and said, let's get rid of the house, honey. Well, you know, we've had it on the market for four months now and um, haven't sold it yet. And, um, you know, but I'm not going to give it away. I, I, I'm not going to just sell it for a song. I, 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 we, need to, we need to sell you it, but want- I'm not in a super hurry. So if I wanted to give you full price, we could probably do business today then, right? Yeah, sure. If you can I'm, give me full I'm price. sorry. I, are you sure? Because you sounded a little mad at me before. No, I <laughs> – yeah, if you can give me full price, that will work. I'm sorry, what? what? That'll work, I, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I look for one of two things. I look for either price or terms. So if I was willing to give you full price on your house, 
Could we work out something on the terms maybe, a rent to own or where you carry the mortgage subject to or something that's a win-win for both of us? And I can even save you a 6% real estate commission because I believe you mentioned before you had a, a re you were trying to sell it. Was that with or without a realtor? Yeah, I have it listed right now. With an oh, okay. Well, it, it, we, I guess we'll have to bring your realtor into this conversation then too, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, okay. What do you need from me in order for... Boom. You see, we're having a dialogue. We're t I'm asking questions. I'm qualifying you. On a one through 10, the Claude barometer, your motivation, I don't... It's probably a four or five right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. At this point in my head, where's my little timer, my little famous... You know my little three-minute timer. Oh, yeah, yeah. At this point in my head, if I can't get you up to a seven or an eight, I'm wasting my time. So I want to get off the phone quick, but establish a relationship because when we call somebody from a, an ad, a telemarketer, or a yellow letter, whatever, we're about this far apart, aren't we? Yeah. We want. So I'm going to call you. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to get us a little closer. Okay. Then maybe I'll I'll say something like, Mr. McCall, what's your process for making decisions? You your family makes decisions like this. Do you need to get out of this house now or after the holidays? What's the? Uh, how fast do you need to move on this? Well, you know we. We'd like to sell it in the next few months if we get the right price. Okay. Tell you what I'll do. Can I send you a letter of intent which introduces me and you have my contact information? I'll give you some broad parameters of what I'd like to do. And if you, go, if you want to get back to me, otherwise, I'll give you a call closer to the holidays. It's been a pleasure to speak with you, sir. Is there anything else we need to discuss? No. Don't you want to come look at the house or... Just make an offer on it. Do you have, can I have your address? I'll check it on Google Earth right now and save us both some gas. Okay, it's 123 Main Street. Got it. I'll send you a letter today. If you have questions, could you get back to me at 530 based on the offer I'm sending you? Okay, so you're, you're sending me an offer right now? I'll send you an offer within the hour. I have your email here. I'm going to check it out. And if I hear back from you before 530 with any questions, that'll be fine. If not, have a nice day, sir. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Boom. Now I'm gonna, Now there was nothing there because you were a five. Right, right. I'll send you a letter of intent. I'll send you something. You might call me back with questions. So now we're a little bit closer. I'm Claude. You're Joe now. We're not Mr. Diamond, Mr. McCall. We still don't do a deal, so now I'm going to call you at Christmas. Hi, Mr. McCall. Claude Diamond here. You probably don't remember me, do you, sir? No. Who is this again? Claude Diamond, I was the guy, the guy in Colorado who called you up about your house. We discussed a wholesale deal, a real a lease purchase deal, oh, but yeah. we really couldn't. But I, I, I don't. I have a note here. It said to give you a call. By the way, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, what, what can? Uh, is there any? Uh, you must have sold that house by now. Well, no. I think we're going to rent it out. We just haven't sold oh. anything yet. Suppose I gave you full price, price, and I wanted to rent it for three years and pay you on time and take care of all minor maintenance. Could we do a deal today? Well, I don't know. Maybe tell me more. What is that? What do you mean by that? Okay, boom. Now we're in another dialogue. Did I get your attention? Oh yeah, it's the full price thing. I'm not going to argue full price. If I get the terms, I don't care about the full price. If I, sometimes I get just the price, I'll get a great price cash deal. Sometimes I get terms but full price. Sometimes I get a hybrid. Well, okay, the thing let's is, to, in a few in a few minutes, I'm sorry, in a few minutes. We're having a dialogue, and I'm getting to the bottom line in seconds rather than back and forth and back and forth. It's exhausting. Sorry. Go ahead, Joe. That's excellent. So let's say – let's do the role play again. Um, no, I, I got to sell this thing today. I can't, I can't rent it out. I got to get rid of this thing. Well, well what's the hurry, Joe? I, you're living in it anyway. You know, I mean – Well, it is. Are, it's are you in the witness protection program? I mean what's, the, what's going on? No, it's vacant, but um, – I'm oh, so it's sick. Bacon. I'm so sick of this thing. I just got to get rid of it. But uh, it's so it's vacant. I mean, uh, it's free and clear. You're not paying a mortgage on it anymore, are you? Well, yes, I am. I, I have a mortgage payment. I don't know how much longer I can keep that up. Round numbers. Just, what are we What are we talking about? Five hundred, a thousand. Well, I owe a hundred thousand on it, um, and you know my payments are about eight hundred a month, and. Uh, it's just becoming a pain in the butt. I might, I, I don't know, I just might call the bank and try to do something with them. Maybe you should. You're right. I mean, how many months has it been empty? Six. Six months. All that. You know, I had a friend, same situation, cost him his credit, cost him the equity in the home, put a great deal of stress on his marriage. Horrible situation. 
I don't know if that's something you want to discuss with me so we could avoid that same situation for you. Well, sure. I'm open to suggestions. What are you, okay. what are you talking about? We take a breather. Time out. You're now at an eight. Yeah. Now I'm in. It's the magic moment. You and I are on the doorstep, okay? <laughs> it's the ma- I don't know if I like that visual. Wait a second. <laughs> what I mean is, it's this is cr- this is the beautiful time now. So, and then you go right to before you give your presentation. Notice I don't do the Q- forty minute Q and A. What's a lease purchase? How does it work? Mm-hmm. I don't do that until I have I've closed you or have a commitment up front. This is gut selling. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is working fun. And we're having fun here. Did you notice in the first phone call, who rejected who? You did. Yes. Yeah. Instead were, of the... Pro- you were the reluctant buyer, as I like to call it. Yeah, instead of the prospect saying, I'll think about it, send me this, I'll talk to my wife. I'll, how many times can you hear that before you go crazy? And when we go crazy, we get frustrated. And when we get frustrated, we, we don't work as hard as we could in this business. But I've got you now on that second phone call at an eight. So now I'm going to make you a, a tentative or pre, uh, a preemptive offer. Okay. Get a commitment from you, and then we'll go to the uh, presentation. So, Joe, if I can solve your problem, if I can get you out of this and help you with the back payments and, and help repair your credit and get you out of this house, if we can find a way to do this, what would you say to me next? Well, yeah, I, I just want to get rid of this thing. I, no, I understand. How's your wife feel? Isn't she part of the decision-making process? Should we get her in on this call or... How does your family work, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, she, yeah, she's more sick of it than I am. Okay. So if, I fi- if we find a way, we're going to do some Q&A questions here. You're going to ask me questions. I'm going to ask you. And at the, let's make an agreement at the end of this phone call. We'll find, if we can find a way to do business, I will get you the paperwork, and we will move forward today. And if not, would you just say no to me? Can you do that, Joe? Yeah, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. See? See who's in, see that we have an agenda here, we've qualified, and we have a commitment, and we did it in a small space of time. Yeah. Rather than the four, how many times have you and I in the old days done these 40, 50, 60 minute phone calls, get in the car, drive to the property, go back and forth, buy them lattes and everything, and then they say, no, Claude, we're not going to do it right now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That is horrible. That's like one of the worst things that can happen to somebody. So I love what you were doing with. Um, my wife just brought me coffee, too. You're kidding. Well, Claudia no. just brought me tea. Claudia, say hello to Joe. We're recording. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I yeah. didn't know if you could see her or not. No, my wife just brought me Put on my... some clothes. <laughs> oh, <No>, she's dressed. <laughs> it was just like uh, uh, 30 seconds before that, my my wife did. But um, Okay, so, Claude, um, let's say I'm, I, I want to buy their house. I want to make an offer to buy their house, so I'm more interested in price, not terms. Okay. Can you can you walk me down the path of what you would say like, um, you know, I, I just say I want to sell this thing today. I don't want to lease it Great. for a couple of years. Sounds good, Joe. What's the what? What do you have it listed for? Or what are you asking? Well, I've been I've been trying to sell it for a hundred thousand. What's it worth, if you don't mind me asking? Well, Zillow says it's worth um, one hundred and twenty. And you're selling it for a hundred. Can we assume that's correct? Yeah. Okay, so it's a twenty thousand dollar difference. Let me ask. And what do you owe on the property, Joe? I owe seventy. On numbers, seventy thousand. You owe seventy. And why are you selling this lovely home? What's the urgency? Well, it's just vacant. It's you know we don't want to be landlords. I don't want to rent it out. I just want to get rid of it. I understand that. What's the least you'll take to do a, a deal today and close in thirty days or less? Well, I'd really like to get a hundred for it. I'd really like to be six foot two and God gave me five foot eight jeans. What are you going to do? <laughs> Well, I don't know. What, what, just make an offer. I, I, I don't know. Um, you want you want 100 You say it's worth 120 and you owe 70 uh, Why don't we uh, – I'll tell you what. I'll make you one offer and you can say yes or no. I'll split the difference. I'll split the difference to you. The difference between 70 and 100 that's a $30,000 spread. Um, I'll give you seven, I'll, I'll give you $85,000 cash. I'll do the closing costs and I'll close in 30 days or less. Yes or no? Oh man, I don't know. That's and the, pretty. That's, I'm, I I got other deals to do, Joe. I'm not trying to pressure you, but I can give you a good price, close quickly, or you can leave it on the market another two years and watch the price uh, and deal with other people who might give you more. Why Why don't you just come over and look at it? And because uh, it's such Joe, a nice house, it doesn't need any Joe, work. And, I know that just by talking to you, Joe. That was a stroke, by the way. <laughs> Joe, 
Yeah. You can you can say God bless you, say no to me, or you can say yes. My offer right now is for eighty five thousand dollars. That's the best I can do. Otherwise, I have to move on. Boy, I need to think about it. You're not allowed to, Joe. Well, why not? Because I think you're more worried about my feelings. When people say they'll think about it, they really mean no, and they don't want to hurt my feelings because they know how sensitive I am. Joe, I'll tell you right now, we can just say it's over and we're still friends. But $85,000 cash, no real estate. Um, Joe, if you're not in any rush to sell a home, if I was you, I would just leave it on the market, get a realtor. Maybe you'll get a ninety-five, dollars $100,000, $105,000. But if you want to move quick... I can give you a cash deal right now because I'm an investor. I need either price or terms. If you'd like, if you'd like, I'll give you a hundred thousand for the property, but you, but we'll have to work out a different means of payments for your equity, over five right. years at least. How about how about ninety five thousand? Can't do it. Doesn't make any sense to me, Joe, because I can't make enough for the investment. Ninety. I'll sell it for ninety. That's as low can't. as I'll go. I understand that, Joe. I, I really, I, I really can't. I'll tell you what. You want ninety? I want 80, 85. How about eighty-seven fifty? And we got a deal. Virtual handshake. Okay, that's it. Boom. <laughs> that's what I sound like. That is really, really good. And you pull away. You draw them to you. You, you play the, the reluctant buyer. And, and I love how you phrase how they, they. If we can agree on the numbers, if we can agree on the terms, are you ready to make a decision today? How about you're not allowed to think about it? Yeah, well, <laughs> okay. This is my favorite. This is my favorite thing when I I do these uh, role plays a lot with Claude. Uh, he's a phenomenal coach, and I didn't, I don't even know if I mentioned this in the in, in the introduction, but Claude is my one of the guys who got me started. Um, whenever I'm having a problem or frustrated with something, I call Claude. <laughs> he gives me some great advice, but he's one of the best the best real estate mentors and coaches out there. I'd really recommend look up Claude Diamond, dot, Claude Diamond dot com. But I want to do this. I love asking this question. Pretend I'm the seller now, Claude. Okay. And, uh, and I'll we say, should do a seminar, just role play for two, three hours. You we know? should do a seminar in Hawaii. Oh, we are <laughs> December 11th, 12th and 13th. Joe and Claude, three days of Joe and Claude by the pool drinking Mai Tais, and learning about this wonderful business. What, right. what could be more fun? <laughs> okay, that's great. So let me go back a little bit. <laughs> Claude, uh, but, you know, but it sounds really nice, but I need to talk to my wife about it. I need to... Let I me check to... with my... Honey, Oh, she just left... I'm going to check with my... No, that she said it's okay. My <laughs> wife said it's all right to sell you. You check with your lovely bride if it's okay to buy or whatever we're doing here. And, and then let's... This is how silly it sounds sometimes. But do you really do that? I, um, my word of honor, always, always. I really even, people don't believe this. I even tell them they're not allowed to think about it. Yeah. Now think about it. Some people, when you say that the first time and you take a dramatic pause, most people will get a little upset with you. Right. But you do have their attention. Yeah. And, then you've, and then we have Claude's, Claude's you can fix it later rule. Sales is about getting them emotionally involved. When I tell somebody they're not allowed to think about it, you got to believe they're emotional. <laughs> okay. yeah. Who is this guy told me I'm not allowed to think about? It? You got to have fun on the way to the bank. If you're not in control, if you're not prepared, this is what I do with my students. All we do is what you and I are doing now. Every week we role play and practice and practice. This is the missing link, Joe, yeah. in real estate or any business is being so good in your sales and, under, and knowing what to say when different situations come up and the rationale for it. We use a science and an art to make this work. So sales is fun because for most people, sales is not fun. Yeah. It's, 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 it's uncomfortable. It's humiliating. It's rejection. We, we take that all away by practicing and using a system like you and I are doing right now. Yeah. yeah and that's, this stuff is so, so powerful. Claude, we need to do more of these. Oh, oh, we'll please. do it in Hawaii. We'll do tons of this in Hawaii. You give me an, a stall or an objection or a problem, and I'll give you a gut solution for it. doesn't always work. It's not foolproof. But it's about protecting you so that you can go to the bank more often and, and have more fun. You and I just did this. You know our video on YouTube, the one you gave yes. me that phone number? 
I think, is that up to a quarter million people have seen that video? That, that thing many? is phenomenal. Yeah. It's, I have a, people call me up all the time about it. <laughs> Where's my check? Where's my royalty checks? For I, well, I'm not charging for it. I gave it to Google, uh, YouTube for free. You know? uh, well, I'll put, but, a, I'll put a link to that in the show notes. You should. Uh, and so, guys, go to realestateinvestingmastery.com. Look up the show notes for this podcast. You're going to get a link to our Hawaii workshop. I'm going to twist Claude's arm and get him to do more podcasts with me and share some more juicy tidbits and sales advice because sales, sales is the million dollar skill. And if you want to do a lot of deals, you need to learn how to talk to sellers and how to close more deals. Um, but Claude, I wanted to ask you, I didn't even ask you this before we got on. Um, do you have like a free book or something I can give to folks if they, uh, if they want to get more information about you and just call, uh, they can either go to ClaudeDiamond.com or call us up, 970-281-5151. Um, either myself, my wife, my secretary will answer the phone, and we'll send you a free book. Or we got a great newsletter all about sales and, awesome. and fun stuff in this business. Awesome. You have, uh, Claude, I wanted to ask you about this. You have an introductory book to the gut sales system that you've given away for free before. Yes. Is it okay if I put that in the show notes here? So, absolutely. Lease okay. purchasing for the 21st century. You put it in the show notes or conversations with the lease purchase mentor. Okay. Uh, great stuff. Uh, still the best strategy out there. And uh, thank you for inviting me, Joe. This is always fun, man. Okay. Well, very good. Thank you, Claude. And guys, remember December 11th through the 13th to 2014 this year. It's about 80 days away from now. Um, we're going to be doing a three day workshop, intensive, roll up your sleeves and workshop. It's not going to be just us teaching them. Um, it's going to be uh, us working with them and practicing and doing role plays and coming up with the really phenomenal business plans and marketing plans. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So go to the website to get more information about it. Uh, gutsrules.com slash Kawi. <laughs> Kawhi. Kawhi. Kawhi 2014. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Claude. We'll talk again soon. Take care, Joe. Thank you. Bye-bye.